Hey everybody, it's your boy Serge Dragon, and welcome back to another edition of the Heaven's Monsters Podcast. With me today, making some coffee, is Tim Money. If you smell what the body is cooking. And right now, uh, we are with video chat with my boys, Chris Petrie. Too sweet. And MMA, and, and, and missing in action, is Mike Henry. Don't know where he is. We're doing the Thursday special. Yeah, MMA means missing in action. But I made it sound like MMA. MIA. MIA. Thank you. Thank you. I keep saying it wrong. I don't know why, but I kept saying MIA. MIA. It's MMA. Made it MMA. Okay. So today we're going to be. Ah, dang it. Your phone freaking. <laughs> Press. Press it. No, the button right here. Oh, the button right here. Yeah, press the 1986. Don't say it out loud. Okay. Not well. Okay. Okay. That was the last digits. I didn't want to hear to say the last digits, bro. Okay. That's your freaking phone. Okay. That's if I remember it. Anyway, so we're going to do NXT on April 13th. You ready, Chris? Oh, you yeah. got the hand sanitizer? Yeah. Give me some. Let me saw that. Hey, Chris, I'm going to wipe your face with hand sanitizer. <laughs> How are you going to do that? Because <laughs> you need to wipe your phone, too. You need to wipe your phone, too. Don't forget that. Get the hand wipes and wipe your phone. Okay. So let's go ahead and start the show with the fact that we had a tag team title match between Imperium and the defending champs, Matt Riddle and Timothy Thatcher. So with that in mind, this match was going okay for a bit until Matt Riddle was trying his best to get his tag team partner tagged in. But then he accidentally hit his tag team partner, not willingly, but by his uh, opponent's. And thus, Timothy Thatcher went and just walked off, fighting violently. Try to say that right. Valiantly. He ends up taking on both Imperium uh, two-on-one and ends up on the ground for the three count. On the mat, should I say. The new tag NXT Tag Team Champions, Imperium. And I believe they're both Italians. No, oh, they're English, bro. No, yeah, but they're from the UK. They're, it, uh, from what I understand, both of them are Italian. It, well, I mean, it's, it's weird, right? No, I'm saying this. I'm saying about it's because you're from. It could mean that if you're from UK, it could mean you're no. Because I watched the show. You don't remember? No, I'm talking about. Did they say? Yeah. Where, where, they, where they from? Not, they were two Italian men. That's why I heard. Mm. So I could be wrong, but hey, yeah. I'm just saying that. Anyway, yeah. we would have. Oh uh, wait. That's right. Chris, how do you feel about Timothy Thatcher bailing on Matt Riddle? It, it sucks. Timothy Thatcher just, uh, okay. just, <laughs> just jealous of Matt Riddle. He didn't want yeah, say that him. again. Hold up. Say that again, T-Money. Okay, bitch. Why aren't you in the frame? Get in the frame. You are still not in the frame. There you go. So, in which case, Timothy Thatcher is being interviewed only to have Matt Riddle uh, intervene and it breaks out into a fight between them. Later on, we then get a FaceTime with uh, the GM, Rian Regal, who's not on site. He's in his home. In which case, he actually agrees with Matt Riddle to give him a match with his former tag team partner, Timothy Thatcher, for the main event. In which case, Timothy Thatcher jumps him again and hits him with a TV monitor or screen monitor. Take a pick. Your thoughts on that, Chris? Like, Timothy Thatcher versus Matt Whittle? Yeah. Uh, Are you happy they get, they get a match? Or are you uh, not happy that he jumped him with the team, TV monitor? 
or a computer monitor. I wasn't happy with the uh, jumped in with a TV monitor. What's happy about that? Uh, how about you? Uh, didn't really care for them both. They both suck in. I already, I already knew that that would happen to uh, them two. Oh, uh, hold up. Because you look at, look at, look at their personalities. Okay. He's back. Okay. okay. Look at their personalities. Matt Riddle is, uh, was a, is a dude, a skateboarder slash MMA fighter. Who has like a dude, like a, like a dude brother personality. <laughs> Timothy Thatcher has like a psych, a psycho personality. Uh huh. He does not see him as a tag, tag team with, with Matt Riddle. He'll see, probably see somebody like, like Baron Corbin or anybody or someone like, like with the same personality as him. Mm. Welcome back, Mikey. Back, That's back like, goes, uh, back to the Sorry. Had to get the, had to get, had to get some alcohol. Did I say they buy alcohol? Did you get an alcohol beverage? <laughs> I'm messing with Did you, I man. Blame it on the a- 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 alcohol. <laughs> that face. Okay, so we barely started the podcast, and we're at the part where we get the fact that Timothy Thatcher causes Matt Riddle the tag team gold, the new Imperium as the new tag team champions, and the fact that the match has been made between Timothy Thatcher and Matt Riddle, and Timothy Thatcher jumps Matt Riddle with a computer screen. You know what I'm saying? Like, Matt Riddle, like, Timothy Thatcher said in an interview, he did not, he does not see him as a tag team with Matt Riddle. Because you saw how, how he was with Matt Riddle. That's why he had to do something quick to get himself out of a tag team with Matt Riddle. Yep. And Mikey's not happy. What do you think, Mikey? I'm like, when will Pete Dunn return? Well, when this epidemic goes down. When it dies uh, uh, down, that's what happens. That's, well, you know, and Bala, he, he doesn't worry about that because, you know, he lives in America now. Uh-huh. Go ahead, Mikey. When's Pete Dunn's going to return? Who's going to save Matt Riddle? Uh, uh, when he doesn't return, he's gonna return when this uh this uh pandemic uh, this uh, corona thing uh, dies down. Uh-huh. That's when that's gonna happen. Next up, we got Tiga Knox going up against a Australian woman, Nia. I think her name was, and she ends up beating her, hoping to qualify for an opportunity at the women's NXT Championship title. Her name was a. Uh, Indy Hartwell. Yeah, how did you do that? It is pressing. It is. You could just scroll down. Oh. See? Let me show you. All you gotta do is. Okay, hold up. No. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna show you how it's done. All you gotta do. Okay. Well, if you see like a, like a, like a plus, then you screw to me, you uh, just uh, fix it. But it'll, it'll show okay. their, name, their names and all that. What was the next match? Okay, moving on, we have Jake Atlas. Jake Atlas going up against Tony Nese in the qualifying match for the Cruiserweight Tournament. Apparently, if you had two losses, you would be taken out of the tournament. Cruiserweight title tournament. Cruiserweight title, yeah. NXT Cruiserweight title. In which case... Tony Nese, as well as Jack Gallagher, are taken out of the tournament. I did not know that because of two losses and zero wins. By the way, I saw how uh, Jack, Jack, Jack Gallagher, Gallagher looked like. Yep. He's a horrible. <laughs> That's wrong. In which case, Tony Nese is just there for spoilers, knowing the fact that Jack Atlas was trying his hardest to get that win. He <laughs> Wait, Jake. Jake, sorry, not Jack. Jake Atlas would get the win off Tony Nice for a total of three losses and zero wins on a former cruiserweight. Because he believes that he was going to win. So play. Jake Atlas moves on into the tournament. Mm-hmm. Next up, we have Cameron Grimes. Say it louder. Cam- Cameron Grimes. Versus Finn Balor. Your boy. And Damian Priest. Yeah, we're good. In this match, Cameron Grimes 
put Finn Balor's name in his mouth, and now he's paying for it. But out from the audience, we see Damian Priest with a nightstick hitting, uh, let's see. Finn Balor with the, off the behind the leg calf, costing him the match. With Cameron Grimes getting the win off of Finn Balor, he major upset. That's called make it an uh, impact. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, also, Damian Priest would hit him with the chair and then continue to uh, uh, injure him with it. And while choking him and sitting on the chair, reveals that he was the one who jumped him three weeks ago. How you guys feel about that? Uh, yeah, you go ahead, Mikey. Well, what, what? Cameron Grimes decided to, you know, put his money where, used to put his money where his mouth is when he mentioned about the former first inaugural Universal Champion, Finn Balor. But like you just said, Cameron Grimes ended up paying it, and then Finn Balor gets attacked by Daniel Priest with that nightstick. I don't, I don't know, I'm the lost words. Okay. You, Chris? Finn Balor almost had that match won. If it wasn't for the uh, free that nice stick, he would have had it. Yeah, Kevin Grind beat. Okay. No, Damian Priest, if he built, he attacked Finn Balor. I mean, Finn Balor would get beat. Revenge on Darian Priest. And you, T-Money? Well, I'd say you know Finn Balor's going to be going to mention that next week about what, what uh, Damian Priest uh, did to him because you know he's going to get reven uh, revenge. Hell yeah. Uh -huh. And Damian Priest, you better watch out because you never know what, where Finn Balor could be backstage. We also had a disturbing Dinner table with the Gaganos. Oh my god. Chelsea, uh, yeah, Chelsea Lee? No. Chelsea Ray. No, uh, Candice Ray. Is it Candice Ray? Oh, Candice Ray, Candace. sorry. Candace. And Johnny Gagano Candace. had their plans set on taking over NXT and mentioning people like, uh, Zia Lee, not Zia Lee, sorry, Mia Yim, as well as Keith Lee. That's why I got the Lee wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay. They were mentioning their names and saying that these individuals were undeserving of those opportunities. So, does that mean they're going to go after them next? Undeserving, give me a point. Uh huh. Either that or they could be mentioning how they undeserve it. Hold it, hold it. Go ahead, Chris. Were they trying to put it on their back on fans? Let me turn their back on us. Uh huh. Go ahead, T Money. Yeah, they're, they're probably saying that 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 they 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 deserve that more than the other uh other people other people. Yeah, I can see that, but at the same time, you don't like the attitude they're bringing. Well, well some people do. Booker T would say he does. <laughs> yeah, you, well, you know, there's been couples who say the same thing they did. Think about who was the first couple that said that. Triple H and Stephanie. No, I think someone like Ric Flair would say that. No, no, that's why. That's couple, couple wise, bro. Ah, couple. Yeah, Triple H and Stephanie. Wrong. Yeah, I think it was them. Yeah. I could be wrong. Yeah. John right. Morrison and Molina. Hey, next, now no, we're gonna go down history right there. No, no, I, that was what I was gonna name. Okay. Next. Hold up. No, we, sure. need, we haven't done that. Okay. Jack Gallagher versus Isaiah Sir Scott. You said Gallagher. That's it. Jack okay. Gallagher. Gallagher. Well, <laughs> I know I had a hard time with that too, but well, <laughs> you reading it and it sounds funny. Yep, yeah, here's, here's the thing, bro. I know someone who has the same last name as that, and that's how they pronounce their name. That's the name. Well, that's the difference, yeah. Yeah. So, in this match, before the match even start, Tony Nese, who didn't like what uh, Swerve said, 
that if you end up getting two losses and no wins in this tournament, you should retire. I was like, oh, shoot. And he jumped his ass for it. Giving Jack Gallagher the opportunity to get the one up on Isaiah uh, or Scott. But he fought valiantly, but still got freaking forearmed, knocked out, and all that talk, and Swerve is eliminated. One to two. And actually, freaking Jack gets the one and two himself for the one win on He's already eliminated, just like uh, Tony Nese. He can't go for the title no more not, in this tournament. I'm not feeling his tattoo on his chest. Man. Hey, that was his decision. I'm not mine. I know. I know what it is, too. It's a sailboat. A pirate ship. Look, a pirate ship. Oh, no, no, no. Not pirate ship. There are ships. Pirate ships were based on that, but no, 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 it's I'm, more of a English military. No, no. I've seen pirate ships like that before. I know. I know. I know. That's what they're based on. Yeah. Pirate ships were doing that. They did that to mock the... British and UK military, yeah, that's true. if I'm correct. My boy, uh, my boy Jeff would know more about that yeah. than I would. How would, how do you feel about, uh, Swerve Scott getting his just desserts, Chris? I swear, Swerve Scott. You know, well, he just got what he deserved, what he said about 20 days. Now he's eliminated. That means he will never become a champion for the first time. You, Mikey? Two words. Sour grapes. Sour grapes. <laughs> All right, next. Kaden Carter versus Aaliyah. Aaliyah, the one who cost Zia Lee, the Chinese women wrestler of NXT, a match last week, goes up against the dreadlock woman, who ends up getting one uh, hell of a win, courtesy of the fact that she wasn't paying attention in the match. She was paying attention to Robert Stone, who works with Chelsea Green, and she was trying to get him uh, to scout her. And he was. He was scouting her, but then, nope, she lost, and he don't want nothing to do with her. Your thoughts? Chris? I say, uh, a great win for Caitlin Carter making Aaliyah tap. And now Alita Alita is uh, in a losing streak. <laughs> Fightly so. What about you, Mikey? Aaliyah, tap, tap, tap. And my question is why? Why would she bother participating in the Robert Stone brand? I don't know. It's supposed to be a heel brand. What, Chris? Maybe she want a a way detention. True. Yeah, she doesn't have her buddy no more. You notice that? Her buddy has to be Vanessa Boyd, remember? And you, Terrence? What do you think? Mm, I can say this: uh, she let him down. I'm sure Chelsea feels the same way that Chelsea probably... I'm not sure how she feels, but I know she was watching the match. Next. He's going to be next, he's gonna be mm-hmm. next DVD soon. Mm-hmm. Matt Riddle versus Tim T. Thatcher. It's the main event in which you thought that Matt Riddle might not be even able to compete since he had that monitor thrown at his backside of his head. But he's rare to go. Uh, shooting those flip flops one after the other into out of the ring, and the match begins. And Matt Riddle has the edge going for him. After the commercial break, Timothy Thatcher actually sh- uh, th- slows down Matt Riddle's momentum with his submission holds, ultimately working on that ankle over and over and over. Just when you think that Matt Riddle might be at his wit's end, he manages, while in an ankle lock, to. Shift Timothy Thatcher's whole body into a pin for the three count and gets the win. But of course, Timothy Thatcher, who was frustrated, went and attacked Matt Riddle once again from behind. And that's pretty much it for Timothy Thatcher and Matt Riddle's match. He walks off while Matt Riddle is knocked out. 
Your thoughts, Chris? Timothy, that the world is crazy. He is a loser because he couldn't go get all the fat on that widow. Mikey? Timothy Thatcher is nothing but a worthless piece of shit. Woo! Now you don't see your finger. There you go. Okay, and your turns? Timothy Thatcher is a punk ass bitch. Woohoo! Because, because, he, uh, well, he, uh, I feel like he was, uh, like, Matt Riddle was the weakest link. Um. And plus, and you know, uh, he said in his interview, like I said, he did not see him, he doesn't see himself as a tag team, uh, partner with, uh, with Matt Riddle. Oh, see, I'm just, uh, I'm, while you guys were mentioning that, I'm running through everything that happened promo wise. And we have three extra promos to mention besides the Gorganos. We have Killian and Crimson, known as Killer Cross and the Smoke. But her name is Scarlet. On the I know, show. Scarlet. Sorry, I say Crimson. Thank you, Scarlet. These two would mention that they are not here for this or that. They're here to entertain. Tick tock. Tick tock. We also have the you see Undisputed Era, in which case, these guys are definitely hyped up knowing that they're going to vote for Roderick Strong, even Roderick Strong pointing himself to fight Dexter Loomis, and that yet they're still not done with Velveteen Dream. Velveteen Dream himself would have a promo issuing a challenge to have another match with Adam Cole, but as to whether the title is on the line or not, we have yet to be seen. So, how do you feel about that, guys? It's the Lumix versus Robert Strong. And, well, I know I'm the spirit of Eric on the fear, so. It might happen. Oh, it's Yui. I said you see. I'm, I just realized that. What about you, Mikey? I just hope the Unsweet Air get their ass whooped. I just want the Unsweet Air get their ass whooped. <laughs> he said, he, he meant it so much, he said it twice. What about you? Uh, do you feel about uh, Undisputed Era? Uh, not a big fan. I think, well, I do, I'm impressed by Adam Cole, just not the rest of them. Also, there, uh, the reason why we haven't seen Kyle O'Reilly is because he's going to be in the film? What the hell? What film is that? Yeah, what is it? I don't know. I'm confused as you guys. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to think what was the name of it. You can look it up right now, because we're about to end this, and it's almost 3.30, so I know for a fact we're, going, we're not going to be able to do M uh, AEW. We're going to have to wait till this weekend to do that, guys. Okay? Oh. Uh, I saw that uh, movie Roman Reigns. Oh. It was good. What woman? Roman, the movie, he did a movie with David Spade called The Wrong Missy. Oh, I haven't heard about that. Uh -huh. I'll tell my mom though about that. Netflix. It's on Netflix? Oh. Yeah. Okay, with that said, guys, we're going to have to end this video now. Hold on. Oh, what's up? What's up? Hold on. You would got to mention uh, Wade Wesley versus uh, E.O. Shirai. Ah, that's right. Next week, we're going to have the Queen of the Skies versus the Nightmare. So, that's going to be an interesting match next week. <laughs> also, we got the... Thank you for mentioning that because this popped up in my head. We're going to have two matches next week for the quarterfinals or the... Fi uh, yeah. Semifinals for the... Cruiserweight t tournament. We're going to have Koshida, who besides Akira Tozawa, has two wins and zero losses. The Japs are winning this, this dang gone tournament, guys. <laughs> but so he's going to, uh, Koshida is going to go up against Drake Maverick, while Akira Tozawa goes up against, uh, I'm trying to remember who, who is he going up against. Uh, oh, Phantasma. So that's going to be interesting matches to look forward to next week. With that said, a shout out to our brethren 
Xavier Hill, Mike Henry right here, and Andre Mitchell. A link to their YouTube channels will be in the descriptions down below. And a remaining shout out to Tim Buddy right here, Chris Peachy right here, Renee, Farrell, and Delvin. Like this video, give it a thumbs up. You didn't, give it a thumbs down. Hit the subscribe button, like the content, and hit that notification bell for the next Heaven's Monsters podcast. I'm Serge Dragon. This is Chris Petrie. This is Tim Money. This is Mike Henry. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.